Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how we get groceries here in Lebanon. Now, there's many ways to get groceries in Lebanon. I'm gonna be showing you guys the ways that Valentine and I prefer to go and get groceries and uh, mentioning a few of the other ways and why we don't usually like to get groceries at those places. So, yalla. All right, so here we are in our current neighborhood in Beirut. It's uh, just bordering Burj Hamoud in the more Armenian part of town. And our first stop is this uh, guy who has uh, various fruits on the cart. Sabahu. Sabahu. Like compared to the supermarket, these are really fresh and clean. Yeah. yeah, so we've actually ordered these fruits. Hey, Azim. What is Azim? Uh, Azim means perfect. That's uh, 20. A shreen is 20,000. Merci. So, so these same loquats, which is the name of the, the fruit. Um, so just a little background. Loquats are actually in season right now here in Lebanon. So we've been seeing them all around the country just growing on the trees. Uh, so these are like a hyper local fruit that honestly I've never seen anywhere else. They're kind of like apricots. They have a similar like uh, like taste, texture, consistency, appearance, all of that. So they're hyper local here and they're in season right now. And uh, we can buy the same loquats in the same container from a huge supermarket. And uh, honestly, like they're already like done. They're overripe pretty much expired not tasty yeah uh, so we decided to order them from or to get them from this guy who has them on the cart because they look much fresher and uh, turns out we were right to order from him, to get them from him because uh, they're perfect they don't have a single brown spot and they look delicious So we've got a river. This is one of the main rivers here in Beirut. Caused by this guy. Caused by this. <laughs> he was very confused <laughs> about why we were so interested. Our next stop is going to be to our favorite like vegetable vendor, fruit and vegetable vendor. Uh, in our neighborhood, we don't have very many like big like convenience stores or supermarkets, which is nice because uh, there's just a bunch of like family owned and operated just uh, stalls, store stalls where they sell various things. And so it's more of like a, it's you, you, you choose which store you buy your vegetables from based on the person who runs the place and the quality of the vegetables that they're selling. So this particular place has really good quality fruits and vegetables. Hello. Hello. This is one of our favorites. This is, yeah, our favorite uh, place. All right, let's get some stuff. So this is the store owner. And he's the one that like does doing the Hi. Thing. Is it okay if I like show you in the... And the it's for our YouTube vlog. Yeah, so this is the store owner. So she's really nice. She's uh Neha. <laughs> and uh, we like Nahna the hub uh your store, like home. Yeah. Okay. So uh we like to buy 
So we're looking for some things for breakfast. So we need the uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers. All different sizes. Mm -hmm. And the way you do it is you put them in these bags and then she weighs it on here and uh, based on how much it weighs she gives you the price so what else do we need do we want any vegetables or yeah i think let's get some vegetables because we're out but we're gonna be gone for the weekend so yeah that's for not too many yeah these are spiky so you gotta be careful uh, yeah. yeah true they are so you might have never seen these before. These are fava beans. They call them fool here. And these are delicious. They smell so good. Valentine loves these. The green peppers here. Yeah, they're like fantastic. Are those ones spicy? I don't know. Mm. I think they're not older. Maybe. Do we need more potatoes? Yeah, we don't have any potatoes. Okay. Do we want to get like... So here are the potatoes. So here in Lebanon, the potatoes typically have a little bit of dirt on them, uh, which is different from what you would see like in the US, for example. And uh, you, like, you can tell they just came out of the ground, you know? <laughs> so we wanna grab some, I think, I don't know, smaller ones. This one looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's enough. Hopefully. Yeah, it's enough. Do, you, do we need lemon at all? Uh, or do we have some? I think, I think we we're... probably have some. Yeah, I think we And, uh... That's it, right? So here we have the everything. And she, like, takes note of it in her notebook <laughs> and uh, the total Because uh, at Neen is two, and then you say 12 with at Nash. those vegetables for uh, 12,000 Lebanese which is less than one US dollar all right so now we're entering into our place where we like to get olives and uh, all like non vegetable fruit produce this is our friend hi nice to see you thanks <laughs> it's, it's for a YouTube blog Emily's a blogger yeah, I'm doing vlogs about Lebanon. So I'm taking people on like my normal grocery like rounds, you know, like where I like to go to get olives or where I like to go to get vegetables, that kind of thing. Yes, the shops uh, where you are buying from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the neighborhood where you're uh, living. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. So can we get some ol uh, green olives? Yes. 200 grams. It's 
Okay. Do you want 200 grams or yeah, do you want 400? Uh, 200. You have it all in the jar as well. Okay, 200, yeah. Thank you. So they have all kinds of things here. They have uh, like shampoo, conditioner, um, they have sweets that Valentine has just naturally gravitated towards. These are new. And uh, they have like jams, this Max Tella, which is kind of like Nutella. And they have cheeses, dairy products. But what I love about their olives is that they don't come from a jar. They come from uh, like a big bin of olives. And then he puts them in like a plastic bag. So they're very fresh. See, 200 grams. I measured that. Do we need anything else? Do we need bread? Uh, I think we need cheese. We need cheese? Yeah. Can we have uh, some palum? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I, I also wanted to pay attention to get this. The fact that there's alcohol, so normally it's oh, normal yeah. for alcohol to be told. Yeah. yeah, they just have some alcohol on the top there. Wine, spirits, everything. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Yatiki Lafi. So typically you say yati kilafi when you are leaving or when you um, just do like some transaction with someone and they've, they've done a service for you as kind of a way of saying thank you for what they did. Uh, I think we're good. I just want to pick up those carrots again and... Okay. And the water, right? We need more water? Yeah, we got all... Skipping. We have a water guy as well. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go pick up the water. Hello! Hi, how are you? We're filming a YouTube vlog. Yeah. You'll be on yeah, YouTube. I'll be so famous. Hello, <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah, good. We're showing where we go and buy our normal stuff. So this is where, this is the guy I get my water from. Every morning I come back, I come down here and I get one of these jugs. One of these big yeah, waters. Big old jerk things. Yeah. And it costs uh four thousand? Four thousand. Every day. Sometimes I don't even say anything to him. I'm just like here. And he's like, ah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we Do you wanna get like a bigger one, like this rim? No, I wanna get the thing I always get. Okay. I don't even know how much that one costs. <laughs> Thank you. So if you want to get some nuts, what do you think? Yeah, sure. The the purple one? Yeah, well, that one on the top looks nice too. Something baked. Oh. Ar Archie? Yeah, or Al Kazi? Alright, what do you think? Okay, let's get uh, let's get some purple nuts. Yeah, it's perfect. We like those. Yeah, yeah that one. Fifteen thousand. I don't open them. Can you, can you, 
Can you find the 15,000? Okay. You have bags? I will yeah, come. I have bags. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Which uh, channel you 20 camels. Can I ride it for you? Okay. Did you upgrade your WhatsApp? Eh? Did you upgrade your WhatsApp? Which way? The, the WhatsApp. Did you upgrade it? We What we did, call us. What I do? I have to do something else? Yeah, yeah. You need to press update. Ah, well, I, I press. You press? You were here. We, uh, we... No, we, did, we never pressed. We have to press. Ah, I pressed. Okay. You press? Uh, 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 okay. okay. Yeah. Wait, babe, one more thing. Do we need eggs from him? No, oh, we have eggs. We have eggs? Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Welcome. So that's our water guy. He's a he's a big uh, teddy bear, basically. He's such he seems like a sweetheart. From every time I've met him, not as many times as Valentine, of course. Yeah, I see him like every day. We have a little bit of uh, traffic going on. Let's just go around. Another way that we often get groceries is from the food delivery apps. So the one that we use is called Totters. And sometimes we'll get groceries or take out food from the app. And it works just like any food delivery app that you would find in the US. Now I'm just waiting for the guy to come in so I can pay him for the avocados that he's bringing. Hi, Totters. Yeah. That's over screen, right? Merci. So, the problems with ordering from the food delivery app are that there isn't really an address for your house. Uh, so you kind of have to give them like directions based off of what's around you, what's around your apartment. Um, so often times they'll call us and they'll have us come down and sometimes we have to even look for the food delivery guy. Uh, apart from that, the food is sometimes a little bit more expensive, but if we're feeling lazy or if we, like in the case of avocados, like lately we haven't really been able to find good avocados like from the surrounding shops. So we'll order from, uh, from Totters and usually the avocados that we get from them are ripe uh, and they're good quality. So it just depends on the situation. There are certain things that we've learned are better to order from, uh, for order delivered to our house and certain things we'd rather just, you know, walk 10, 10 minutes and go get them. And now with all of our freshly purchased vegetables, we're gonna enjoy a very delicious breakfast. Avocado, toast, bread. We got our cucumbers that we bought. These are the olives. This is the cheese. And uh, I think that's it. And then this is what we do with the... Putting some water. So just FYI, maybe not in our neighborhood specifically, but in many different parts of Beirut, they do have uh, more Western style supermarkets where, you know, everything's like, you can buy everything in one place and it's huge and there's like shelves upon shelves of everything that you can imagine. Um, but I don't know, like if you have something like this available, where you have, you know, family run, family operated shops with uh, that specialize in something or another. Why wouldn't you shop there? And plus, we've had some pretty terrible experiences with those uh, larger supermarkets in the past. 
What we found is that they tend to be a lot more expensive than the little corner stores run by the individual families. And uh, the quality of the products is just not as good. So we used to go to like try to find fruits and vegetables there, but like every time we went, they would always be like moldy and honestly just disgusting. <laughs> and uh, they would like actually keep moldy vegetables on the shelves. So I had this like rule of thumb where I was like, okay, like anything that's perishable, like should not be purchased at one of these like supermarket convenience store places. But you know, if, it, if it's non-perishable, like should be fine. Can't go bad anyway. Yeah. It makes a big difference when somebody cares. It does, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss these little like small, family owned and operated shops when we go back or when we go to the U.S. next. We're not going back. I keep finding myself in the habit of of saying that. We're continuing the adventure. We're just continuing the adventure, exactly. Anyways, guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. It, I don't either if you're planning on coming to Beirut yourself and you're curious about what it's like to get groceries here, or you're just curious about uh, what it's like to get groceries here, just out of pure curiosity. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content about living in different countries around the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.